Hey guys, so first I need to warn you, this video is not necessarily age appropriate to everybody. Um, I swear on it a lot. And normally I wouldn't swear in things on this channel a lot, but it's kind of relevant to what I'm going to be talking about, which will make sense in a couple minutes when you see it. So if you don't like swearing or you're easily offended or anything like that, please don't watch this video because I don't want to offend you or anything. So the theme this week is somebody had to say it. And basically we're just supposed to do whatever we're inspired to do from that phrase. So the reason that I'm uploading so late and on a camera that's not mine, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, I can because I'm holding it weird and stuff. Um, but I was at a demo derby, demolition derby, all night. And what that is, is um, a bunch of cars get in a small muddy space and run into each other until there's only one moving, basically. So um, they crash and they catch on fire and like mufflers fall off and smoke comes out and bumpers get dragged around and it's it's really fun because like oh and everybody's cheering and it's it's, it's amazing. Um, but so there was a little like break in between the pickup trucks and the um, normal size cars, compact cars. And um, during this, you know, 20 minute or so break, there was a streaker. And if you don't know what a streaker is, I don't know, like, if the same terminology is used in those foreign lands, like Canada. Um, but basically, a streaker is somebody who takes off all their clothes and runs across a field of pe like, the people are all watching naked. Um, it happens a lot in high school, on high school football fields. So, um, there was a streaker, and this guy had to take off his clothes, climb up an eight-foot fence, and then over a jersey barrier to get to, you know, the mud field thing that we were all watching. And there were there were no cars on it or anything. And he kind of ran halfway down and kind of shook around a little bit and, like, spun in circles to show everyone, you know, he was naked. And um, got dragged back by event staff that he put on his boxers and ended up going to jail in handcuffs. Um, so that's just whatever. I'm not going to get into why I think that's ridiculous. But there was this lady who was sitting behind me, a mother. No, this is on Mother's Day, so like, I don't know, mothers tend to be more like, you need to do everything that I say because it's Mother's Day on Mother's Day. And there's this mom and she's with her sister, her husband, and like six kids, I think. So she stands up and she's just like, that's fucking bullshit. They shouldn't be able to do this and da 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 and this is a family event and that's crap and that's bullshit and I'm not going to put up with that shit. It's a family event. Da 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 So she calls over the event staff guy and she's like, that's fucking bullshit. Da 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 And he's like, ma'am, he got arrested. What did you want us to do? And she's like, you should have prevented it. And she's like yelling at this guy, like standing up, screaming at him. And um, he's like, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. And she gets, she has her beer in her hand and throws it at his chest. And so her sister kind of stands up and she's like, whoa, 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 Stacy or whatever her name was, calm down. And looks at the event staff guy and is like, sorry, don't worry, I got this. So he kind of rolls his eyes and walks away. And she's like, don't fucking tell me to sit down, you bitch. And so her kids start to stand up, like I assume trying to get away from their angry drunk mother. And she's like, sit down, you fucking cocksuckers. And I'm just like, whoa. Okay, like, you're like screaming at your kids. You're in, like, risers. There's people all around you. And she's making this big deal because, like, there was a streaker and how it's a family event. And that's not appropriate. And I'm just like, dude, you're calling your kids cocksuckers. Throwing beer at event staff. Screaming fuck every other word. How are you being family appropriate? Because you know what? I'd rather my family see a streaker than hear your language right now. And you know, everyone in my family swears. Like, whatever. I think a lot of more people in, like, America swear now than, like, I don't know, 15 years ago. Whatever. But, like, everyone has naked body parts. Whatever. If someone wants to streak, it's fun. He's far away. You can't really see anything. And the guy went to jail. But then you're going to stand up and just, like, swear like this and make this big deal about nothing. And how, say, it's a family event, yet say fuck every other word. Like, how does that make sense? 
okay? If you are going to act like that, you don't get to call him out for being a streaker. I'm sorry, but somebody had to say it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, please. I look forward to seeing Jenny, our guest vlogger, this Wednesday. And of course, all you other beautiful faces. Um, see you later.